How is it going, everybody? We are getting very close to the release of Stellar Blade, and I've always said that when you talk about the anticipation and hype for a game, it is really that last two weeks where that anticipation and hype should be reaching a fever pitch, and I feel like with Stellar Blade, man, they are doing exactly that. I think the timing for this game with the demo, they did it perfectly, and now we're getting some stats, and you guys know me, I love to look at these animals analytics and these statistics, but I feel like I have a general idea of knowing when a game is going to pop off, and obviously if a game delivers from a quality standpoint, the commercial numbers will only be heightened after release. Right now, I can only look at it from the standpoint of what is the reception of the demo, what is the general uh, publicity of the game and public notoriety and attention of the game. And how are the numbers that we do have at our disposal doing? And I have to say that people are pretty excited about the game. We have some stats to go over. Stellar Blade Demo has hit 690,000 daily active players. This is coming from Ampere Analysis, and they have looked at the performance of the recently released Stellar Blade Demo, and it looks like it's surpassing the demo of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and doubling that as well. According to Ampere Analysis, the Stellar Blade demo launched on March 29th, peaked at 690,000 daily active users. This is much higher than the demo of FF7 Rebirth, which had a peak of 380,000 players. Since its global launch, Square Enix's RPG has increased its number of daily active players by 251% to 2.21 million. That's obviously with the release of the game. According to analyst projections, Stellar Blade could, surpa uh, could surpass 4 million daily active users after its release. However, Ampere noted that conversion rate could be lower because it's a brand new IP rather than an established franchise like Final Fantasy. And that's where I feel like a lot of people have to take this statistic as a very impressive statistic, picking at damn near 700,000 daily active users for a brand new IP, incredibly impressive. However, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I don't know if this was the case across the board, I did notice from my content there was a ton of people, and I myself found myself in this category that I knew I was going to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I knew that it was going to be a game that I was going to really enjoy. I had no desire to play the demo of that game. I know there was some in-game item tied to it, but it was just something where I was like, bro, I'm good on playing the FF7 Rebirth demo. They've already got my $70. I don't need to play it. We're in the case of Stellar Blade. This is a demo that I really think a lot of people wanted to check out. And on top of that, you just see that this is a demo that's being promoted uh, on the PlayStation Store. You see Eve being promoted attached to a free demo. Look, it's just going to be something a lot of people check out. Let's just be real here. I'm not really uh, saying anything outrageous here. We're in the case of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. A lot of people knew that it was a sequel to Remake. If you didn't play Remake or you didn't finish remake even if it's being promoted on the playstation store it's not gonna be something like okay let me just go check it out whereas stellar blade it's a demo that people are just going to inherently be like if it's promoted and if you know about it that you're gonna be like okay let me check this out where i don't think ff7 rebirth was necessarily that and i think the conversion rate of stellar blade uh, might be a little bit lower but i do expect that this game is gonna absolutely crush it from a sales standpoint and um I am really curious. I am just curious. There has been a lot of pushback to some of the elements of Stellar Blade. I don't need to, you know, define everything. You guys, I'm sure, have seen some of the uh, articles and whatnot and some of the social media posts. I've certainly seen a few, a very, very few amount of comments when it came to Stellar Blade and you know, how they are portraying a female character as if this is something that is completely brand new and it's something that the game should be looked down upon for some nonsense like that. I am really curious how they're going to feel if a brand new IP, which we've said it over and over again on this channel, what is one of the hardest things to do in gaming today? It is release a $70 title that is a new IP coming from a relatively unknown studio in the console market. I get it that uh, Shift Up is known on on other titles and whatnot, but generally speaking in the console market, they're fairly unknown. I am really curious how they are going to receive the fact that Stellar Blade, if it ends up selling incredibly well, we see commercial numbers like at some point, guys, 
social media rhetoric, you can take it for what it is, but realize that sometimes what's being said on social media and what is being said by sometimes what could be a vocal minority. I'm not saying it's always a vocal minority, but sometimes you have to realize that uh, rhetoric that you see on social media is not going to directly parlay into a business sense and how a game does commercially. Or this goes for any uh, entertainment medium or anything uh, that we can talk about. If something's being completely crapped upon on the internet and then it's still draws a lot of money, well, there's a little bit of a disconnect where the social media audience doesn't really correlate with the paying audience. There sometimes is a disconnect. Not always, not always. Sometimes the social media rhetoric parlays right into what we get out of the video game as well, but it's a balancing act where you have to take the social media reception and people saying things on social media for what it is, but then also assess other metrics. And in the case of Stellar Blade, I think this game is going to do incredibly well for a new IP, for a game that's going to be released at $70 for a new IP from an unknown studio to the console market. All of the numbers that I'm seeing based on social media attention and people being positive towards the game, I think that completely outweighs any sort of negativity that this game has. I just think the negativity sometimes is spotlighted a little bit more. I think this game is going to crush it from a sales standpoint. Again, with expectations being in line, do I think it's going to do as well as God of War or Spider-Man 2? No, absolutely not. But for a new IP launching, I think this game is going to do exceedingly well. And I think Sony, whoever's involved, would be absolutely foolish, absolutely foolish to not parlay this into an IP that they are releasing sequels for because you've got a W here. You've got a winning formula You've got a character that before the release of the game is already like a mascot and has all the potentials to be like a mascot character. You take advantage of that and then when this game releases on PC, you're damn right it's going to do incredibly well on there. And based on what I've seen from people's reception of the demo, unless the full game is like a complete disaster or something upon from the demo, I think generally the game is going to re be received fairly well. I'm not saying it's going to get 9s and 10, a 10 out of 10s everywhere, but as long as it's like generally a 7.5 to an 8.5 and it settles in at like a 78 to an 84 on Metacritic, I think it's going to do very well. I don't think at this point that it's going to be in like the mid 60s or something like that. And I'm saying that from the standpoint of review scores do matter to an extent, so you know, you don't want a game to be, you know, in the 60s and 50s. That's where, you know, game quality is going to hamper the uh, release of the game and the sales numbers of the game. And I've said it over and over again. Sure, Eve is a well-designed character. It all falls apart if the game isn't good. It helps from a promotional standpoint. Absolutely. Nobody is thinking of it otherwise. But it ultimately has to be a pretty good game as well. But I think based on what we've played out of the demo based on the general reception I can tell from the demo and the fact that they are, uh, you know, sending out review copies and the embargo is lifting two days ahead of the game's release. They're not waiting till day of or anything like that. I think the game is going to be generally pretty well received. Maybe I am being a little bit too optimistic, but you guys know me. I am generally the most pessimistic person that you could find. I think of worst case scenario every single time, but with Stellar Blade, I do think this is going to be a good game and I think it's going to do exceedingly well for a new IP at $70 from an unknown, from a relatively unknown studio, I should say, from a sales standpoint. And I do think they can parlay this into being a very successful IP. I don't know who has the rights to Stellar Blade. Sony is publishing the game, so... You know, Sony, I would definitely do what you can to get more of this. Because if you have the foundational elements of a successful IP here, you build off that and you do a lot of good work. So we'll see how it ultimately turns out. Again, let me know if I'm being a little bit too optimistic, but... I think this game's gonna do really, really well, guys, and I think it's going to be a franchise that's gonna be here to stay for a while. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. I might eat my words come April the 26th or April the 24th when the reviews come out, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm fairly confident. This is one that I'm fairly confident that it's gonna do well from a sales standpoint, and it's gonna do fairly well from a review standpoint. Review standpoint, you generally can't really predict that. Everybody's got their own opinions on video games, and honestly, with some of the reviews, I could see some people talking the score. I don't know. I don't want to go that far. Look, reviewers are going to do what they're going to do. I can't say that they're going to dock the score because of some nonsense, but let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.